Hey, how is it going YouTube? I'm back with another video on how to use Wine. And on this video today, I'd like to show you how to install uh, Steam games. All right, so using the Windows Steam client. So if you didn't already saw all the other video that I previously did, uh, you want to go there and check check them before so you that you understand how to uh, create a 64 or 32-bit wine prefix and also how to install steam this is on the first video that i on, on the playlist the first video all right so if you already know how to create a wine prefix and how to install steam now to install steam games let's say that uh, it's it's not super uh, difficult okay it's maybe it's not the same thing at gog or the free games because you actually everything has to go through uh through the steam client which can be a little bit difficult to understand but actually once once you understand how stuff works it's even easier to than to install uh, the uh, for example gog or humble bundle free games so using a installer all right because the steam client it's a little bit more complicated but there are some stuff that makes uh, things way easier okay on the previous video i always install all the wine prefixes in my home folder okay but this time i would like to to tell you how i actually do okay normally that's not uh, so I, I i don't install everything on my home folder but I, I rather install on a folder called dot wine prefix okay you can by the way have you can call it whatever you want but this is because normally on the home home folder you have a, al uh, you have always a lot of uh, config file or uh, some some stuff I mean, there are a lot of stuff that the the operation system put in the home folder. So to have think, things more, uh, uh, to access easier to your wine prefixes and everything, it will be better if you separate them from the home folder. All right. So actually I'm going to use mm, the Steam that I'm normally using that is installed on wine prefix and it's called Steam, actually without the dot. All right. But it's no problem. Yeah, well, actually, let me fix this shortly. Okay, and let me redo everything here. Steam. Okay, now I'm going to install a game that's called the Titan Souls, and I'm going to install in a new one prefix. Here, and I'm going to call the folder, oops, or the wine prefix. I'm going to call it Titan Souls. The prefix is going to be 32 bit, I guess. Yeah, I guess I, I don't need a 64 bit for this game. Actually, here comes the differences between uh, Steam games and uh, everything else so drm free games or every game that doesn't use a client okay that every time you want to install something you have to go and call steam or to run steam okay so if if normally okay you just run wine create wine prefix and from here you run the game this is not possible with steam games so every time you need to go actually here in this wine prefix and run steam then the game will run through from steam so steam will run the game here so this is a little bit complicated but you will understand better later i guess so to do that let me just do something like this this is titan souls X. Okay, then in here I'm going to put uh, 
this symbol. Okay. And then from this symbol, the actual game is executed. So the symbol, it's nothing but your Steam client. Okay. So let me change a color in here. Let me put it this in here. Okay. That's it. Okay. So actually wine goes in the right wine prefix that you just told in to, to create. Then from here you need to go and run the client then from the client it will run the game okay so as i as i said it's a little bit complicated but you will understand everything later so by the way you can run your game and install them in the, in the steam prefix okay you can do that there is no problem but i prefer to have my steam prefix just with steam installed so it if there is something, if something happens to the wine prefix, I don't have to reinstall Steam and lose some games and everything. Uh, maybe you will understand this when I when I will do a video about uh, wine tricks, so how to fix a game that is not running uh, and etc. Because if a game is not running, okay, you can fix the game, but maybe then the game, the that game that you fix is, is running fine after that but maybe this breaks some other games that's why you have uh, it's better than uh, when you have some different wine prefix all right it's not uh, i mean you can also have everything in one wine prefix but this is not the best way i will talk about this later okay so right now let me open a terminal here we are and I'm going to run wine arch equal 32. So to create a 32 bit wine prefix, wine prefix equal home dot wine prefix titan souls. Okay, this will create the a 32 bit wine prefix called titan souls which will be in this subfolder, let's say. Now, I have to run Wine, by the way, and I have to tell Wine to run Steam in from its uh, Wine prefix. All right, so home again, then Wine prefix, drive, ooh, 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 Steam, drive C, okay. Then, as I showed you before, I installed uh, just after the, the main C folder. So, steam and steam.x, steam.x. If you install like in, I don't know, program files or whatever, just whatever f steam installed, then you have the main steam folder and just after that you have the main steam x. Okay. I'm gonna run it. Wine configuration is being updated. So the wine prefix is being created. Okay, you want to okay actually every time you you create a new wine prefix and you run Steam, you have to log in. Even if you are, uh, if you are set like a login automatically in the main Steam wine, wine prefix, in the main Steam wine prefix, to login to existing account. Let me see if I can do this. Oop, I just fucked up, I guess. Okay, you want, I just want a little bit of privacy, but looks like I can't manage the the window to, to to follow my mouse or to whatever. All right, fuck that. Please don't hack my 
profile. Okay, perfect. Now you have some info. As you can see, you have the, the news for Windows. Like you won't you won't see this Rainbow Six Siege news if you if you open the the, the Linux client, all right. Now, uh, you can go and select the game on your library. So just go. Um, where is it? Here it is. And then just press install. Now, there is something I'm going to explain you right here. Okay. Let me do it like that. Let me open just this one. All right. Please don't fuck up. All right. So every time you, you create a new one prefix and you run Steam, okay, and you want to install a game, Steam will always try to to install the game or we always tell you as a first choice to install the game in, in this folder Z home user which is my username dot wine prefix steam so steam will always try to install in its wine prefix okay so everything external to the wine prefix that you are using uh, appears to call to be called as Z or Z or Zeta or whatever and this happens for every game, all right? So you don't want to do that because it will be useless because the game will be installed in the Steam Wine prefix and you do not want that. You want to create a new Steam library on Drive C and then just create a new folder and select Steam library. This is everything automatic. Then you'll press select and then install under C Steam library. Next, finish. All right. So to explain you again, Steam will always no. Okay, let me do that. Okay, Steam will always try to install the game in its folder, always. And you do not want to do that. You want actually Steam to install in the different wine prefix that you just created. Okay. All right. Now you can actually see the progress by pressing the download button. Okay. I have a super bad uh, internet configuration. There is something with Arch Linux that I still need to fix. So actually it's 177 megabyte, but it may take forever for me. Okay. Be because sometimes the, the speed goes up and sometimes down. This is a problem that it's it happens with Arch Linux okay as you can see now I have almost zero then maybe we go up I still have to fix this problem so it'll maybe take forever to install those 177 megabyte as you can see now it's going up then maybe the, then it'll go down all right anyway let me close this so you, you can actually see the progress from the download page on the Steam client or you could just go on the Steam icon and you will see the the progress here. And this actually doesn't happen with the Linux client, which is kind of strange. Okay, so just go with the mouse on your on the Steam icon and that's it. Steam has finished all the Titan Souls. Alright, that was quite easy. Then it works just as uh, the Linux client. You can press, uh, you can click on the on the Steam icon and then open your library or whatever. Or you can also double click the Steam icon. This is also something that doesn't doesn't the double click doesn't work with the the Linux client. All right. So at this point, yeah, I like to run the game. And hopefully it won't. Uh, yeah, hopefully it it won't. Uh, let's say mess up with my resolution. Actually, before doing that, there is something that I want to tell you that Steam does very good. Is Steam uh, automatically installed installs all the dependencies that you need. 
So uh, at the first run, if there is DirectX or VC run or .NET, okay, or everything else, Steam is going to install it for you. So it, it works very good with the game dependencies. Okay, so Titan Souls. Yeah, the game is just running out of the box. And that's it. I can start. And here we are, the game runs out of the box. All right, that's it. Quit, yes. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to install another game and uh, actually I don't remember what game I, I wanted to install. I want to install also something uh, uh, not so heavy. Replay, yeah, let me try to install this game. How it's called, Replay VHS, all right. So as I said before, let me create another one prefix because actually I have no idea if the game is going to run out of, out of the box uh, replay VHS okay the game probably it's 32 bit I hope so and then I will need to run the the main X. All right, so with Wine, I'm going to go here, create a 32-bit new Wine prefix. Then I'm going to run Steam, and from Steam, I'm going to run the actual. I'm going to launch the actual game. There it is. Okay. So right now you will see that when I, I create this new Wine prefix, okay. In the wine prefix, I won't find Titan Soul installed. Okay, so this prefix will be empty. So Steam, I will have no game installed through Steam. Okay, so let me close, exit. Yeah, sometimes you have some error with Steam Web Helper and whatever. Let me close the main the main client, Steam client. If it hangs right now, you can press like enter, and if nothing happened, just press Ctrl and C. Okay, and then the Steam client it's closed or should be closed. Okay, from here, I'll just go up and modify this line to create replay VHS, the new uh, one prefix. Okay, so 32 bit, wine arch equal win 32 bit, the wine prefix called replay VHS, wine, and then run Steam. Perfect. I don't need this one. As you can see, this is a new wine prefix, so I have to log in. Okay. And then if I go and check Titan Souls, where is it? There it is. As you can see, this is not installed because this is a different wine prefix and this is an empty wine prefix. So let me do like that. Okay, replay VHS, install game. As you can see, as I told you, Steam will try to install in the in its prefix, which is dot one prefix 
slash steam and it's uh, known as Z all right so it's an external wine prefix you want to go create a new steam library in C new folder okay steam library next and that's it finish you can close here no problem you can go here and check how it's going it's five percent let's hope I'm able to install a little bit faster okay and then we will try the game hopefully we'll start uh, 1080p and you won't mess with my resolution Actually, let me check the next game that I'm going to install. Maybe I will install... I should have checked before, actually. <laughs> Skydrift, maybe? Or maybe Stalingrad. Yeah, I will try this one. Here we are, 41%. As you can see, the, the speed is just went down. This is something that is driving me crazy. Uh, I have to fix this because I'm, I really need to, to save some time. I mean, it can go up to almost six megabyte per second, but I don't know. There is just this problem that it can download. It's just, it's like, it, it downloads like a wave you know sometimes it goes up sometimes down and it's driving me crazy since too long actually okay all right anyway and now I'll tell you, I'll try to introduce the what we are going what I'm going to explain you on the second part. So on the second video that I'm posting about Steam games. Alright, so let me pick up a game. It will be apartment 666 maybe. Yeah. This should be a little bit uh yeah, not so heavy. Okay. There is a I'm going to show you through a terminal. There is actually a variable that you can use with Steam. Okay, so if I go up and, or actually, you know what, let me just create an arch win32 prefix equal home dot wine prefix. It here okay so then you want to run wine and then as I told you home dot wine prefix steam steam drive C steam steam dot exe all right right now instead of uh, running uh, the main client so opening the main client you can add a variable here which is called app launch okay and then the name of the game so the the id of the game on steam which you can go on the store page and check it so every game has actually a stop it and do not how to play videos every game has a an id okay in this case it's 37 37 56 80 okay and you actually can check this id on the the main game page on steam and on your client be sure that you have uh, downloads inter interface yeah go on if you have if you, the, the link here doesn't appear, go on settings, then interface, and then select display Steam URL address bar when available. Okay, and then it should appear. Anyway, you can also open a browser 
and just check for a game check for the game that you want to install and you will see the the, the link also here so just using DuckDuckGo or Google or whatever search engine you're using you will see the the ID here or you can also go to the Steam database.info apartment 666 okay and there there you have the app ID all right so every game has an app ID like for example uh, half you can see here that every game has a has its app ID like for example I'll fly for a place in the West this is the code this is the app uh, ID the number Half-Life 2 2000 uh, 200 yeah 220 Half-Life it's 70 and whatever so you can just install a game by running the this variable app launch and then the app ID so as long as you run this command you will go straight to the game installation without opening the the client I am Ah, oh, you know what? I'll close this. Yeah, yeah I'll close. By the way, if you are on uh, uh, on everything else than Arch Linux, you shouldn't have this problem actually. So let me rerun Steam and let's hope to download the game properly. Let me close here. Downloading, please download the game I mean it's 44 megabytes come on man anyway I'll try to I still have to understand what's going on with this issue and if you have the same issue uh, I mean as, lo uh, as soon as I fix it I'm going to make a video because this is an this is an issue that happens on Arch Linux and you probably have it. Okay, Steam has finished on low replay. So I'll try to launch. I can close the client and launch it from here. Maybe not. <laughs> so let me click in here and let's play it. Yeah, so my resolution just fucked up. So let me, yeah, skip please, and let me fix the resolution. Option, full screen. All right, looks like I can't fix the resolution. No idea how I'm recording this. Maybe you just have a small, for me it's full screen just with a wrong resolution no idea what you what it will appear on the video as you can see the game is just running so you can go ahead exit the game and uh, here we are okay perfect so let me close here as you can see when you have this resolution switch then the, the Steam client is going to suffer of maybe some error or something as you can see now the Steam client is running but I have no icon here or actually no actually it's still there as you can see but the icon is disappear but okay I didn't know that but anyway you can still run let me try yeah yeah actually the icon I don't know what's going on maybe this is just because I'm using this Windows Manager JVM, so I don't know. Maybe change based on what you are using, desktop environment, the environment or uh, Windows Manager. Anyway, let me close Steam here. Let me force it with Control C, and right now let's install Apartment 666. Okay, 32-bit. 
I guess part okay perfect then want to put a symbol in here okay here we are so here we are so when arch 32 bit when prefix is going to be created and it's going to be called apartment 666 wine by the way it has to be there then i'm going to run steam but actually this time as i said i'm not going to to open the client to scroll my library and and uh, install the game from there but i'm going to use this variable so dash or minus app launch and then the app id okay let me press enter the one prefix is creating I'm going to log in this is an issue that I, I think you probably don't have okay okay this, the, the thing that the, the window still stay there so So right now I'm going to log in and you will see that it won't open the, the main client. Okay. But it will go straight to ins in installer. Okay, perfect. So same story here. Steam will try to install on its wine prefix. You you want to create a new folder, Steam library. Select next finish all right that's it as you can see i didn't need to open the steam client just with that variable i was able to to launch the installer straight from the command line straight with a command so with a command i was able to create a 32-bit wine prefix to run steam and to go straight to the installer okay so in the next video I'm going to show you even an easier way to do that by creating some uh, shortcuts okay and I have to say that installing Steam game it's very easy if you understand how this works okay especially if you understand the let me write it down the app launch variable It's going to be super easy because yeah i didn't tell you that actually with the first command if the game it, uh, it is not installed it will launch the installer okay but then if the game is installed it will launch straight the game okay you will see maybe now okay steam has finished downloading app apartment now i will exit from here i will close steam there is an error as usual let me close this okay ctrl l to clear the terminal then if i'm going to run the same command it's going to launch straight the game okay so if the game is not installed first it's going to install it and if the game is already installed you can straight launch the game that hopefully i'm crossing my finger it's not gonna mess my resolution this time okay invalid platform yeah all right so the game needs to be 64 bit and yeah this is not a problem because i'm going to talk about this later okay maybe in a two or three video i'm going to talk about this after i talk about uh, wine uh, tricks how to fix a game with wine tricks anyway as you can see i with, uh, using let me close everything here okay using the app launch and then the app id 
I'm able to install the game first and then launch the game. So I don't need to open the client and select the game and, and everything. Okay, that was it for the first part and I'll see you next time in the next video. Bye.